All right, y'all, today we're here to talk about the T word. That's right. We're talking Tailwind. I actually like Tailwind quite a bit. I actually think it's CSS as CSS was meant to be. It makes CSS classes work like classes. That just makes sense to me. But here's the part of Tailwind that doesn't make much sense to me. When I go to their Get Started page and look at the installation steps, there's just quite a bit here. And to be honest, I wish there was a better getting started story for Tailwind. But this is where NX can really step in. I just put up on screen a new project that I created with NX. I'm going to add Tailwind to the React application I created inside the workspace. To do this, I'll open up the NX class console plugin and I'll click generate and we can see here's the generator to set up Tailwind. And I'll select my project here from the drop down menu. The name of my application here is Tailwind example. So I'll click that and I'll click run. And that was it. Tailwind's now set up on my application. In general, NX generators are a great way of taking these medial tasks around setting up tools or setting up config and abstracting them away so that as a developer, you can focus on doing your job and getting stuff done. And you can leave the rest to us. I hope this was a helpful tip. We'll catch you next time.